Like silence your cell phone and make sure to keep it outside during the proceedings. <laughs> It goes off, we pick them up and they're ours. There's a big sign that says, don't bring phones in here. Get off the phone. I know people have phones, but if they go off and we can hear them, then you have disturbed and interrupted the proceedings and then you lose the phone. So we don't want to do that, okay? Follow the rules. They're printed right there at the door. Charles Adams? Yeah. Charles Adams? Oh, boy. And where's Mr. Adams? He's right here. That's him? Yes, sir. My goodness. <laughs> You're too young to be in here, sir. You, where's your parents? Back there. Yeah. <laughs> fix, you got to fix this. Okay, you got to fix this mess. And she's a good lady. She'll help you. But I don't want to see you back here. This is for bad people who make bad mistakes. I'm sorry. People who make bad mistakes. Sometimes they are evil people, but bad mistakes. And you don't want to be in that group, do you? No, you have to speak out. You're looking at a burglary of a building. This is up to two years in a prison facility. Two years. And there's hardly any good time for that. You have to do almost all the two years. That would be like a long time for me. Right? Yes, sir. All right. Fix this. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do today? Um, Your Honor, we get a little more time. We're trying to see if he may possibly qualify for pre-trained conversion for this offense. Um, so we could get a few weeks to get an answer. Don't do something like this again. Okay? Yes, sir. Don't. Follow the rules of law, or you want to go back there and see what that looks like in there? Back there? I mean, these people are scary people. Do you make good grades? Yes, sir. You better. That's a condition I'm going to check mm -hmm. on, too. You better make good grades. Yes. I was in school, I made straight A's. All my other letters were crooked, <laughs> but my A's were all straight. That's a joke. That's pretty, yeah. You catch that one? That was a pretty good joke. That's funny. All right, but seriously, fix this and make good grades and make your parents proud of you, right? Yes, sir. Okay, sure. All right. Get a resetting and follow this lady's advice. She's a smart lady. Thank you. Somebody ought to make her a judge one day. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Twenty three CR one nine seven nine is now called the State of Texas versus James Curtis Baker. Uh, that's you, sir. Yes, sir. President, your attorney is Matt and the state's attorney does the defendant waive a formal reading of the indictment and arraignment. Can we proceed in summary? Yes, sir. In summary, this indictment, sir, alleges. That on or about October 27th, 2023, 
in Jefferson County, Texas, you committed a third degree felony of unlawfully carrying a prohibited uh, weapon in a uh, at a prohibited place, and that is a school. This is a third degree felony, which means if convicted, you face a term of not more than 10 years or less than two years in prison. In addition, a fine may be assessed not to exceed $10,000. Do you understand? Yes, sir. An agreement has been reached where you would be pleading guilty, placed on deferred or unadjudicated probation, which can be up to 10 years in length, fine $500. Is that your understanding of the agreement? Yes, sir. If I follow this agreement, you have no right of appeal of your case. Do you understand? Yes, sir. How do you plead to this charge, sir? Charging you with this third degree felony of uh, unlawfully carrying a weapon in a prohibited place, namely a school zone. Guilty or not guilty? I plead guilty, Your Honor. Are you pleading guilty voluntarily? Yes, sir. And because you are guilty. Show you what's marked as States Exhibit 1. Did you sign that document voluntarily? Yes, sir. Did you understand it? Discuss it with your attorney. Are the contents all true and correct? Yes, sir. States Exhibit 1 is tendered into evidence. No objection. Without objection admitted. Among other things, this state you were mentally competent to enter your guilty plea, which is freely and voluntarily made. You know what you've been charged with. The indictment's been read to you. You've read it. You were guilty of the crime charged in any lesser included offenses. You were giving up your rights to a jury trial and the right to the appearance, confrontation, cross-examination of witnesses. You were totally satisfied with the representation provided by your lawyer. All of this is true. It states, so help you God. Yes, sir, it is. States Exhibit 1 is made a part of the record for all purposes. Is a pre-sentence report waived here? Yes, sir. Anybody else want to add anything? If not, I'm going to find you are pleading guilty today voluntarily. You're mentally competent to do so. You understand the consequences of pleading guilty. There's sufficient evidence supporting your guilty plea from States Exhibit 1 that you committed here to find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. But I'm going to defer any finding of guilt and place you on deferred or unadjudicated probation for 10 years. If you do well, it will be shortened in a third. So and I do that at, almost every day. I terminate early for good behavior. You must pay a fine of five hundred dollars. There will be terms and conditions of probation, which are normal and customary for this type of offense. This is one of the more serious offenses. I've been. I got out. I got arrested Friday, and I got out Saturday. That Sunday, right after that, I called Portage's police department to speak with a patrol officer. Why? Um, to figure out what laws I needed to look up so I never repeat this mistake again. And I have my spiral here in front of me. I've been writing the Texas Penal Code of the Mall of Perry. That way, I would never repeat the mistake, no matter what. Yeah, it's a federal crime as well. Sir, I've been looking it up as well on federal. And after that, I, I've been. But correct me if I'm wrong. I think in all school locations, there's a supposed to sign. There are posted signs that warn about it. I didn't see it on the doors, Your Honor. I was well, in. Where do you I, go? Where, where do you go to school? I used to go to Fort Nichols Grove High School. <laughs> Until when? Until 2022. Oh, it was posted then. I mean, it's been posted for years. I had. I really never paid attention to it, and people have told me that. It was an open carry state, and I thought we could carry everywhere. And then I learned my heart ways. It's not. And your honor, there were witnesses that told him before he went in not to go in with that weapon, according to some. Is that right? My mom had mentioned it. When that I was a bad idea. It was a bad idea, and I was like, "No, well, it's an open carry state." Well, I mean, you 
Yes. You certainly, I know you don't have your head in the ground somewhere. You've got to be aware of news. I mean, anytime there is a, a shooting at a school, it makes the front page for days because it's, it's Absolutely. number one, it's condemned, it's illegal, but you've got a bunch of children who I, uh, shouldn't have to be worried about people with guns shooting at each other or displaying it. I mean, it's, it disturbs people just to think somebody has a gun on a school. And uh, I regret my actions. You know, I want to make a public apology to not only the school, but also in Jefferson County that I put their children in danger. I, I have my only daughter that I have to think about. Yes, well. sir. And I don't I almost say I never regret my actions that really, really bad. Yes, sir. I gave literally all my guns that day and gave them up to my uncle. So I wouldn't have any type of issue. So, okay, you're uh, 21 years old? Yes, sir. Okay. Where did you graduate from high school? PNG. Portnacious Groves. But have you gone on to secondary school to college? I went to a UTI up in Houston College for the Will program. I was it was a nine month program, and I was up in Houston for twelve months for a whole year, and then I came back. I came back to live with my mom to see if I could will and will jump down here. Confined one was working at Best Buy in Castle Lake. Okay. I finally moved out when my fiance got her own apartment. After all this, like the Sunday right after my first court date, we moved into our apartment. Oh. And I now work as a plumber, working about 60 hours a week, trying to take care of my family. All right. Uh, well, just let me tell you this this doesn't go without you paying a price. You're so, going to jail. You're going to jail. You just can't flash a weapon. At a school, but we all this is like everybody knows thou shalt not do that. You can't, you can't, the, the potential for disaster is terrible. You're going to do 30 days in the county jail as a condition of your probation, sir. So I'm setting an example for you and anyone else who. Who makes a foolish choice like this? Yes, sir. I'm sorry you did that, but I'm more concerned about the safety and well-being of children. Yes, sir. They shouldn't be worried about, and the people who go to these events, they shouldn't be worried. Things bad happen to these events now. Just, uh, what goes on in the stands is is insanity now. I'm Complete sorry. total lack lack of self control by adults as well as children. And then you want to have a gun. It, amidst in the midst of that sometimes insane activity that goes on at a sporting event for children everybody's fed up the reasonable people are fed up with that kind of behavior and it has consequences okay well you're you're going to go to jail as anyone would you should know better and it's a, a warning anybody gets caught goes to jail on this court's watch yes sir it's only the Fair thing to do. You work during the week? Yes, sir. I, do. I can do this on weekends Thanks. where you have to report on or before six o'clock each Friday. Yes, sir. And that'll be for 60 weekends. Uh, I'm sorry, 30, uh, 15 weekends. 15 weekends. Yes, sir. Um, and would it be possible for the court to have? When do you want to begin that? Next? I'll begin at least, I would say two. Weeks. Which one? When, when would you like to begin that? Um, I would at least, I need at least two leaves that way I can at least talk with my fiance to get it covered. <laughs> I'll give you that, that time. Uh, please let the probation know. They will call me and uh, I'll uh, approve that. And you have to report on or before six o'clock each Friday. Thank you. I'm sorry you made a bad mistake like this, but you these bad mistakes are really They're intolerable. And uh, we're going to send a message to anybody. You seem like a very nice person who regrets doing this, um, but it's it's forbidden to have something like that on on a school zone. I mean, the, the harm the harm is catastrophic. Okay, my boss 
is he's an advocate for my yes, sir. BP, my well, CEO. Look, there, you, you, you seem like a nice guy who made a real foolish decision. Yeah, and I wish I could say I've never made a foolish decision, nor uh, all of us have made them more than one time. Fix this, yes, do better, and um, move on and just make sure you, you make wiser choices that I know you're most capable of doing. And I do have a couple of questions. Yes, sir. Uh, one of them is being. I know probably I'm not allowed to have my weapons or anything like that. Not um, until this probation is completed. Is, it, uh, is there any way I can sign something or waive the uh, giving the gun to my mom? That way she can take it to my uncle and put well, it. Well, see why not? Because I, I don't want you to have possession. Yeah. No, I just didn't know. Let somebody the keep them. Uh, yeah. But when this is completed. You're back to a regular person, as it were. Sir, because I just I won't have them because I okay. Don't. Yeah, that's not a problem. Talk to the probation office. They're real. They're uh, very good people who who try to accommodate your needs. And then the other question is: is she said I probably have to talk with the probation as well about it. Is there going to be any work restrictions because my child? I'm a drain call technician, and we cover about 120 miles outside of Omaha, so I'm in and out of the counties. Back uh, as, uh, I allow people when they have work duties like that to make the most direct travel to and from those workplaces, but we accommodate uh, as long as you do well on probation. Just ask and talk to the probation office about it. If there's a problem, they'll get with you. And on the phone, can I pay that exactly? Yes. Because sir, and can I pay it like tomorrow or no, talk to the probation office? Okay, thank you. And and they they'll work with you on that. We have all kinds of methods of accepting and ways of accepting depending upon the financial condition. Not, well, my payday is literally today, probably from eight or twelve. Well, tonight. talk to them, and and there are going to be other fees. You've got uh, probation fees and court costs too that are going to. That ended up being a lot more than I ever thought it would be, but it's the way it is. It's um, the way the world is. Yes, sir. Please see the probation Thank office. You. Okay. Yes, Mr. Burbank, let's get with yours. All right, uh, he's outside. Uh,